Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So, this weekend, on the 18th of March, in Dubai, we have a tremendous heavyweight fight to look forward to. Jarrell Big Baby Miller versus Lucas Big Daddy Brown in Dubai at the Agenda Arena. That's a bit of a funny name, but um, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to this fight. And quite frankly, this weekend is quite quiet for boxing. There's a couple of cards here and there, but I, I would say this is the best fight on uh, for the upcoming weekend, believe it or not. And I'm morbidly curious to see both guys go at it. Of course, Jarrell Miller, you know, he has his history with failing drug tests things of that nature, as does Lucas Brown. Uh, Jarrell Miller in particular is still kind of exiled from the boxing community, but he's attempting to make his comeback. He had a couple of low-level fights last year. Didn't really look that great from what I saw, but you know, he's attempting to resume his career. I know that'll trigger a fair few people, but you know, he's done his time as far as I'm concerned. Let him continue, that's what I say. And Lucas Brown is definitely the hardest opponent Jarrell Miller has fought on his comeback and in quite some time. I mean, prior prior to Jarrell Miller fighting twice last year against real low-level guys, the last time he fought was November of 2018. So, and that was against Bogdan Dinu. So, it's been a while since Miller has fought anybody of, of any real quality. Um, it's a long time, you know, uh, five years since he fought Bogdan Dinu, who is no great shakes himself. So, Lucas Brown is the best opponent Miller has fought in quite some time. <clears throat> and again, Lucas Brown isn't exactly any a anything great within the heavyweight division. But Lucas Brown is coming off a good win over Junior Farr. Uh, Junior Farr, of course, gave Joseph Parker a real hard fight. And Lucas Brown knocked him out in a couple of rounds. One of Lucas Brown's best performances in quite some time, and arguably in his career full stop. Um, so yeah, Lucas Brown is coming off a good result. He's a big dude. He's experienced. He's a cumbersome guy, but he does punch hard. And as we know, Jarrell Miller isn't exactly hard to find uh, defensively. Uh, Miller, even in his prime, when he was actually on a roll, he would grind guys down due to his sheer attrition and punch volume and pressure. But Miller would get caught coming in all the time. We saw that against uh, Ger uh, Gerald Washington, Bogdan Dinu, etc. You know, these guys were lighting Miller up at times, but they just couldn't get his respect. Lucas Brown can punch. And given Miller's defensive deficiencies, I, I think that makes this fight interesting. I'm sure Miller's not been caught by a hard punch in anger for quite some time. So yeah, Lucas Brown's power and his size, you know, that makes this fight interesting. I would still favour Miller. Even now, you know, Miller completely, completely inactive. I would say he's got a better gas tank than Lucas Brown. Again, Lucas is a cumbersome heavyweight who pours with his jab and looks for his right hand, his looping right hand. He doesn't really put his shots together all that well. He doesn't have a great work rate. And I would say he's also susceptible to the body. And Miller, you know, Miller was a good body puncher. <clears throat> so I, I think even now, uh, despite what's gone on in the past four or five years, I think Miller does hold the advantages stylistically in this fight. I would expect him to probably grind down Lucas Brown, maybe stop him late, maybe outwork him on points. I, I, I see the only way Lucas Brown wins this fight is by a knockout. I, I can't see him outworking uh, Jarrell Miller in this one. But regardless, I do actually think it's an interesting fight. Honestly, that is mainly due to morbid curiosity, but on paper, this one should be competitive. That really kind of goes to show how bad this weekend is for boxing, when Miller vs Brown in 2023 is the best fight of the weekend. It's not great, is it? It's not great. And this, card in, this, this whole card in general is 
is a bit peculiar in my opinion. So it's headlined by Jarrell Miller versus Lucas Brown. That's a 10 rounder. And on the undercard, you have John O'Carroll versus Miguel Mariaga. You have Brandon Glanton, who's a cruiserweight. He recently lost a world title eliminator. I felt he got robbed, by the way. Brandon Glanton is fighting a 3 and 0 Russian prospect by the name of Soslan Azbarov. Um, that's a weird fight in itself. There's some weird fights on this card. There's some weird fights on this card. From what I understand, there's no real like international TV deal for this for this card. Um, it's not exactly like it's not exactly like people are going to flock to Dubai to watch such a card. Um, and you know, there's a couple of fighters on this card who are relatively high profile, so I'm sure they're getting paid decent purses, which you know makes you question this this card is not going to make money. It's not exactly going to be all eyes on Dubai this weekend, you know what I'm saying? Um, I do question sometimes these random ass cards in Dubai and, you know, Abu Dhabi, places like that. I do wonder sometimes whether these sort of cards are money laundering exercises, I'll be real. It's just a weird card. It's a, it's a weird card in Dubai. There's no way this show's going to make money. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought unless these guys are getting paid peanuts. Um, it's just a weird card. I'm not complaining. Um, there's a couple of fights on this card I am interested in. The main event, obviously, and Sozlan Azbarov against Brandon Glanton. I, I, I think that could be a decent fight. But, um, just a weird card, in my opinion. A weird card. But yeah, I mean, if this is a money laundering exercise, well, it's resulted in Lucas Brown versus Jarrell Miller. So, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I'm genuinely looking forward to this fight. If I were to pick, I would pick Lucas Brown on points or late stoppage, I would say. But, you know, given, again, given what's happened in the last five years in regards to both of these guys, it's kind of hard to say. I guess anything could happen, right? What can I say? I'm looking forward to it. Maybe, maybe that's more of a reflection on me than it is anything else. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, share your thoughts below. It's been your guy Delboy. Tell me how you think this fight's gonna go. Peace.